Hi, in this video I'd like to give some explanation on the module user management. This is a module that comes up in Trailhead. And if you're like me and transitioning to the world of business and technology sometime after your schooling years, you might find some of these concepts a little confusing. In this video, I'd like to give you some additional background and context so you understand why the things that are happening in this module and why the things that Trailhead is teaching you are actually really quite important. Let's take a look at these two units. The first unit is add new users. The usernames, those are the name that each person has. That's usually some sort of combination of their first name and last name. The user license, this is really important to keep in mind because when a company buys licenses from Salesforce, they buy certain types of licenses and the licenses have a specific cost associated with them when the company is trying to think about how many licenses do they need, they want to spend as little money as possible to be able to get the job done that needs to get done. So you would not want to assign a user a, let's say, standard platform license when all they need access to is just basic information of seeing conversations that are happening in Chatter. So that's why these licenses is actually really important because it connects to how much money the company is paying Salesforce for their licenses. Profiles, this becomes a huge conversation as you go for, further into your learning um, about Salesforce. But basically what they have here is a pretty good idea. It's the basic information necessary for the person to do their job. You can leave it there for now. Roles fits into the role hierarchy. And this is something that made no sense to me when I first started working for a large corporation. But basically the way most big businesses work is you have the person at the very top, that's the leader, the chief executive, and then the person who report, then the team that reports to that chief executive, and that's your whole leadership team. Each one of those people have more people under them and then depending on the size of the company you know how far down that goes and those different layers of leadership the way the company is broken up is by those people and those roles fit into a role hierarchy so if you are a salesperson you are going to roll up to the salesperson to the sales leader if you are a marketing person you are going to roll up to the marketing leader there might be lots of different layers that you have within your company. So knowing your role and your role hierarchy really determines a lot about what you do in your job. And that's just something that's super important to keep in mind. Okay, being able to freeze people from anywhere, this is also really important because a company has customer data and if you have a person who leaves the company and still has access to the company data, that's a big problem, obviously. Like they could take that information anywhere and uh, do all sorts of bad stuff with it. You know, give it to the competitors, whatever it is. Okay, the next unit is control what your users can access. And this is your introduction to data security. So you've probably seen Salesforce, uh, you know, statements. Mark Benioff talks about this a lot, about the importance of trust. Uh, and at Salesforce will say that trust is our highest value and many companies uh, will talk about the importance of keeping their confidential data secure, keeping their customer data secure. This is important to being able to trust the company, whether it's a bank, whether it's, you know, the, the camp that you send your kids to or whatever. If you give somebody your information, your personal information, you assume that they're going to hold on to it properly. When we talk about levels of data access, what's important to keep in mind is that this is like a hierarchy, right? So the organization, that's everybody. Objects are the groups of information within the organization. Fields are added to objects and records are filling out of those fields. And then we have all of these different we then have all these different security settings, organization-wide defaults, role hierarchies, sharing rules, and manual sharing. This is how, these are the tools, the levers, that as a Salesforce administrator, you'll be able to use to configure the Salesforce environment so it is as secure as possible, so the company you're working for can keep their users' information secure. 
I highly recommend going through this unit and doing all of the activities in here. It will come in really handy uh, for you later on when you have to do your security specialist super badge. But the main thing to really keep in mind here is that it's really by having this level of security that businesses are able to earn the trust of their customers. Salesforce does this incredibly well by having this object-oriented database where you can have security layers at all different places so that way only the people who need to know information actually know it and the people who do need it have access to it. So hopefully this video was helpful for you and you understand a little bit more about the business reasonings behind all of this technical conversations around data security. Thanks for watching.